And two travellers passing through Auckland Airport this morning are now under quarantine after showing suspected symptoms of the swine flu as the number of confirmed cases here rises. Now, One News reporter Chrissy Moreau joins us now live from Auckland International Airport. So, Chrissy, what can you tell us about this and also how many suspected or confirmed cases are health officials now looking at in total? Well, Peter, there are now 14 confirmed or probable cases of swine flu and another 31 suspected. Now all of these people are in quarantine and they've been given the Tamiflu antiviral drug. Now uh, health checks are also being beefed up here at the Auckland airport with two passengers that had their travel plans interrupted. These are the two most recent passengers to be put into quarantine on New Zealand shores, arriving on a Qantas flight bound for Australia. They were soon heading for Middlemore Hospital for quarantine after showing flu-like symptoms on arrival from America. They're telling me I've got to go into quarantine. So, yeah, that's just what I needed to hear. <laughs> I've got a lot of stuff I needed to get done back home at work. I have qualified for hospital having the uh, swine flu and so he's done some tests and we have to go over to the hospital until we get the results back for treatment and to keep us away from the general public. Officials are doing a good job of that, clamping down tightly on anyone who could pose a risk. Well we're basically screening all the, the passengers off the high risk flights. In fact we're doing all the flights um, but we're specifically focusing on the flights that are coming from uh, the United States. The case definition that we're working to at the moment is anybody who's got a, um, a fever, um, con blocked or a runny nose or a congested nose, sore throat. Surprisingly, they aren't getting too much resistance, making sure travellers are well informed before sick passengers are pounced on and told to wear a mask. I think people are a lot more aware of what's happening, so they have the information that's been given out, they've had the announcements from the plane, and we're giving out uh, information sheets. Meanwhile, the Rangi Toto College students who've tested positive for swine flu may be back at school soon. The Ministry of Health says if they complete the 72-hour course of the antiviral drug Tamiflu, the quarantine could be lifted as early as tomorrow. The school has been uh, business as usual all week. It will continue to be business as usual. Um, we're really looking forward to having our um, 25 strong party back at school um, as soon as they're ready to come back. The health minister says other cases around the country are mild and on the road to recovery. If you've got flu and you haven't been to Mexico, United States in the last seven days, you've got winter seasonal flu, deal with it as you normally would. So, Chrissy, despite that note of caution from the minister there, we know that health officials at Auckland International Airport are being kept very busy. Is there any idea how long this level of precaution will continue for? Well, Peter, I've just spoken with airport security who have told me that they're going to continue with the current security measures for as long as they need to. Now, it's the Ministry of Health that makes the call on whether to beef up security or scale it down. And also the government has made a call and said they're, they're advising against any non-essential travel to the Mexico area. All right, thank you. That's Chrissy Moreau there live from Auckland Airport.